being that guy having yeah. to do that every game. I will keep this. <laughs> All right, one card on the bottom for Andrew. We are ready to go, it seems. Looks like Eric is on the play. Winsow Teeth. Elvish Reclaimer. I'll draw. Yep. JSN says, I miss Young Pyromancer. Yeah, those were the good old days. I played a lot of uh, Delver with Young Pyromancer a couple of years back. Hmm. Well, I'll play City of Traders with my land. Yep. <laughs> play Chromox. Yep. I'm going to put a Battle Cry Goblin out of the Chromox. Yeah. Battlecry Goblin imprinted on Chromox. Broadside Bombardiers. I'm going to attack. Yep. Menace, two damage. Yep, no one. 17. I'm going to throw the Chromox in here. Battlecry Goblin's Exile. Chromox is in All right, Chromox sacrificed to boast Broadside Bombardiers. Level Reclaimer is killed. I was looking for things that I just <laughs> that just didn't exist. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get like, uh, a card of that Florian Canyon. Luanel says, I keep forgetting to order more copies of Muxus. Is Muxus a spec, or do you just need more copies? There's breaches. Uh, I'm going to attack the broadside bomber dudes yep. for two. 15. Uh, trigger whenever a pirate I control attacks. I will yep. choose one of its abilities. In this instance, I'll make a treasure. Uh, you have 15. Go ahead. Okay, so... Breaches, triggers whenever a pirate you control attacks. Bombardiers is a pirate, so we got a treasure. Pretty neat. I like this card, Breaches. I played it very briefly in Goblins. Pretty fun with the broadside Bombardiers. It's powered itself, of course. The Ixalan Goblin Pirates. Knight of the Reliquary. I'll draw. I will sack my treasure for red. Uh, tap my Simeon's my Simeon traders, play broadside bombardiers. Uh, I will go to combat. I will attack with everything. I have three triggers on breaches. I'll make a treasure. I will exile the top card of my deck. I can play it this turn. And I'll make it so that Knight of the Reliquary cannot block. Because I'm attacking with three pirates. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You go to eight. Uh, I'll activate broadside bombardiers. Throwing breaches at you. For five damage. And I'll do the same thing with the other one. The uh, Chromoxes and City of Traders are the uh, pricier cards in the deck, in the Goblins deck. Yeah. I'm going to go Chromox. Uh, underneath. Mm -hmm. And Ancient Tomb. Oh, and Ancient Tomb as well. All right, here's Breaches once again. Andrew... The turn one breaches eager pillager. Reclaimer will stick around for a turn this time. It's unlocked. Discarding Mox, uh, discarding Dark Depths to Mox Diamond. Claim, uh, gonna find Dryad Arbor rather with this Greenstone Zenith. <laughs> Breaches is a 3 3 first striker. Yep. 
I will attack and make sure. My understanding is that tier zero. Okay, Breachers gets in an attack, makes a treasure. Uh, I'll play Gamma Souls, named Goblin. Uh, yep. I will tap for red, sec for red. Yep. Pick two. Sixteen. Yep. Uh, so that's... I will Shadow Skull Smashing, dealing two and dealing one. Shadow Skull Smashing to try and wipe out the team here of Reclaimer and Dryer Arbor. Two and dealing one? Yep. All right, sacks the reclaimer, sacks the dryad arbor to reclaimer. Makes sense. Finds the jury step, and that'll probably protect Elvish reclaimer. It'll live. I'm not 16 or 17. That's correct. Uh, you're up. Oh, no. How much? Trigger? 17. I'm hearing that you're a whole player. Yeah, I'm I'll draw. In case you missed it, there is a delusionary sticker revealed, so a sticker goblin could potentially make six mana in this game. Claimers online. Breaches could attack and make a treasure, potentially. Or it can make it so Reclaimer can't block. It's a 3 3 first striker. Elvis Reclaimer can grow to a 3 4. How many cards in hand? Three. It looks like Eric's holding a sword. So I think I see a sword supply shares in hand. Red, I have one floating. Uh, cast a battle cry goblin. Okay, battle cry goblin. One mana floating. Could potentially activate. Take the initial, provided that's resolved. Pack tactics. Swords and breaches, it looks like, in response to the Battle Cry Goblin ability getting activated. Because it needed more. Oh, yeah, for oh, yeah. sure. I don't like, imagine how what terrible it is because yeah. all it did was initiate it. Well, I had one. I would make sure that I was my one of those. That was a basic. The choke is the choke. All right, it does. Yeah. Or gets exiled, I should say. Yeah. Ability still on the stack. Yep. Yeah. Um, doesn't really make sense to attack with Battle Cry Goblin here, I don't think. It's a 3 2. Elvish Reclaimer can become a 3 4 pretty easily. I'm going to attempt to pirate the Elvish Reclaimer before. Okay, so Pyrokinesis on Elvish Reclaimer. Can respond by sacking Sajiri's step to its ability. 
We have another Sajiri step? No. Echoing Deeps. Yep. To copy Sajiri step in its ET ability, ETB ability will trigger targeting the Reclaimer to protect it. That'd be crazy. That's like a copy of everything. Right, you have a second copy of everything. Yeah, that's a good, uh, that's a good point. Um, I'll attack for three. Yep. I'll take three. Oh, boy. Right. Let me tell you. Yep. I'm find a basic land in there. Echoing Deeps has just been a great addition to Legacy. I, I really like this card. It's it's like a it's been a subtle little impact, but it but it's quite good in these Zenith Knight Reclaimer decks. Really, just Zenith Reclaimer decks. Like Cloud Post even has Echoing Deeps sometimes. These two. Yeah, it's a <laughs> unlicensed first. Okay, unlicensed first could be a way to shrink the reclaimer. Three yeah. lands in the yard. Yes. Take the initiative. Unlicensed first also a turn late from stopping this echoing deeps from doing its thing. Something. Looks like Eric might be holding a copy of Path to Exile. Which is currently at 3 4. That is correct. Yeah, that's fine. Three or more lines in the yard. I heard eight. You are. I heard There's one line in your yard. He sacked us two lines in your yard. Tempting. I'm just going to track the And then you crop rotate. And that's three lines in your yard. Andrew trying to figure out if there's a way to attack here. I don't think so, so I'm going to attack. I think, uh, so the Echoing Deeps is a copy of Sajiri Steps, so technically... This Bowmaster cannot be cast with those lands. He would need to use Mox Diamond, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, <laughs> finds a Thespian stage. Land, oh, okay. Artifact, getting close. Reclaimer. Can tutor for it, of course. Unlicensed Hearst, thinking about an activation on end step here, maybe. Together we can truly. Bowmaster staying back on defense. Didn't activate the hearse on end step. We agree, we agree on five, five, six. five, six. I have three here and you have two more of them. Okay. Artifact and future. Gotcha. Get a dark okay. yeah. Yeah. I will uh, draw a card in the middle, right? Okay, put Stark Depths in play now with Reclaimer. And if that's what you're saying. Copy. And I'm just going to start with Stark Drop return. Yeah. Is it time for Sting Scourger or what? Drop. Yep. Yeah. Play land. Mm -hmm. Combat. Yep. Yeah. Plenty in there. I would like to block, but I cannot. So I'll die. Okay. Minus three. <laughs> okay. Game two goes to Deaths. Going to game three. All right, two cars on the bottom for Eric. A mold to five. Andrew mold to six. Turn one, imprinting Goblin Mansion on Chromox. Sticker Goblin. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Make mana. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Bloodstone Bombardiers, then a Matron, searching the library now, out of mana. Finds Broadside Bombardiers, that makes sense. Presenting a really fast clock, attacking for two, and then sacking Matron, so five total damage. Or, sorry, seven total damage. So the card in hand for Andrew is a Broadside Bombardiers. Eric plays a Plains and passes the turn. Removal will be necessary. I'm just doing stuff at this point. Just like, you know, I'm playing constructed sixteen. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get a I'll take the initiative again. Okay, one of the broadside bombardiers will be swords. Attack for four. Do we boast here? Sacking Sticker Goblin would be five damage. But if another sword's on broadside bombardiers next turn, Eric will basically stabilize with no creatures on the board. <laughs> a little risky. <laughs> There was a molt of five. <laughs> Andrew molt of six, Eric molt of five. So both were a little bit lower on resources than operating at full capacity, I guess. Just going to pass the turn, no boast. Felt like it was too risky. Playing it safe. Can't get too aggro, right, chat? All right, glacial chasm. Cumulative upkeep is real. Shadow Skull gets played as a tapped land for turn. Shadow Skull, the hammer, pass. So I didn't want to get it. No more. Yeah, you show me like Tundra, and I'm probably pretty safe. Just jealous. All right. Putting an age counter on the. Okay. So paying two life to put an age counter. It'll stick around. Cumulative upkeep is real, though. Seven life now. It's a real cost. They don't make mechanics like they used to, right, folks? Cumulative upkeep. They just don't do it anymore. Okay, Andrew is down to 14. His side of the life counter hasn't been updated. Muxus will resolve. Plenty of creatures on the board. Legion War Boss, two Battlecry Goblins. Legion War Boss, this Goblin has a must attack. Come on, man. What kind of creature do you think Goblins are when they're wearing on their chance? They're Goblins. I mean, what kind of crap do you think? I'll also attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you just take this? Yep. I'll take the line. Yeah, so no more. Yeah, I'll stick with it. Um, see. You're up. You pay four. Three. Okay, down to three now is Eric. I'll just put this on the on the overlay. So Eric's actually at three, and Andrew's at fourteen. They haven't touched the phone, which is fine. Okay. So this is uh, a thespian stage, but not enough mana at the moment. Oh, well, actually had enough mana, but cast a Reclaimer. All right, so can potentially copy, because uh, of Yavimaya, can put copy... Um, with Thespian Stage on the next turn and allow the original copy to die, not paying the cumulative upkeep. 
Yeah. Cast a second Moxus. Got it. I'll keep the original Moxus. I'll lose four light. So you have three turns. Okay, casting another Moxus. Andrew's down to ten. Life totals are correct now on the phone, so I'll get rid of mine. Broadside Bombardier and a Sticker Goblin. Sticker Goblin, activate Battle Cry Goblin twice. Um, I'll move to combat. Okay. I'll tag with everything. Okay. Uh, uh, trigger the Lethal Bus first. I get two more Goblins for my Battle Cry Goblins. Um, and then I'll activate Broadside Bombardier's uh, sack and killing the Elvish Reclaimer. Going after Elvish Reclaimer makes a lot of sense. Everything is tapped. The Battlecry Goblins created some friends. Uh, a little bit late on the mentor trigger, but it's unlikely to matter. So you crop rotation in your up. But that doesn't give a haste. Uh, so you negate like 60 damage here. Someone in the chat, please do the math. Uh, All right, there it is. Someone in the chat, please do the math. How much damage just came through? First correct answer gets a... Uh, Something. Okay. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna copy it with. Yeah. Okay, so you're not paying, but now you have a copy of it. Okay. Yeah, first correct answer gets a sticker. Do you pay at some point or no? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll yeah, yeah, keep it. Yeah, so I'll keep it. Okay, so that's being stage is a copy of Glacial Chasm right now. Seriously, someone calculate how much damage that was. We need we, we need your help. Okay, play Dark Depths Pass. Well, you're making me really sweat this one out. I'm trying. I'm trying. Glacial Chasm will get an age counter. And it will be the first. Magus of the Moon. No. Oh, Magus of the Moon. Yeah. So close. That ends the game. Wow.